Hi there, and welcome to Lesson 6.4 for Honors Geometry. So today we're going to learn how we can prove that triangles are similar to each other. So really quickly, let's refresh from last lesson. Remember from Lesson 6.3, we were able to say that two polygons are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent to each other, and their corresponding sides are proportional, meaning that they have a similarity ratio. So for example, if we have triangle ABC, and triangle DEF, if we know that all of the angles, corresponding angles are congruent to each other, so angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C is congruent to angle F, and similarly, their corresponding sides all have the same scale ratio. So we can see here we've got Y and 2Y, X and 2X, Z and 2Z. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF with a scale factor of 2. Okay, so now that we've refreshed similar polygons, let's talk about how we can conclude polygons or triangles in particular are similar without having to show for all three angles and all three sides. So let's move on to the next slide. Okay, we have a postulate. And remember, postulates we don't have to prove. We will use them in proofs. So postulate 22 is our angle-angle similarity postulate. And it states that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. So all we have to know now are two angles of two corresponding angles of two triangles. So, for example, we've got this triangle here, and we can see it's a right triangle since our angle is marked as a right angle right here. But those two angles are, in fact, congruent to each other, and we have another angle that's marked congruent. So we know these two triangles are similar to each other. That's all the information that we need to know. Because from our third angles theorem from previous chapter, we know that this angle up here would, in fact, be congruent to that angle right there. So as long as we have two angles congruent, we are good. We know that those two triangles will be similar to each other. So before we move on to some examples, we need to review a few things about parallel lines. Because in similarity for triangles, parallel lines are used a lot. Okay, so what do we know about the following angles? So corresponding angles, such as angle 1 and angle 5, are going to be congruent to each other. Those would be these angles right here. If we have alternate interior angles, so for example, angle 3 and angle 6, we know that those are also congruent to each other. Alternate exterior angles, for example, angle 2 and angle 7, are also congruent to each other. And lastly, we have consecutive interior angles, and we know that the measure of angle 4 and the measure of angle 6 will equal 180 degrees. They are supplementary. So that is just a very quick refresher of parallel lines. And that's because as we get into proving triangles are similar, we're going to want to know things about their angles. And parallel lines gives us a lot of information. OK, so now let's move on to some examples. We need to show that the following triangles are similar. Okay, so we've got in example one parallel lines that are marked here. We know that angle ACB is congruent to angle DCE. ACE is congruent to angle DCE. This is our vertical angles congruence theorem. Okay, now we've got these parallel lines that are marked. We can say that DB right here is a transversal. And we have a pair of alternate interior angles. Angle D right here is an alternate interior angle to angle B. And we know from alternate interior angles theorem that angle D is congruent to angle B.
So now we have two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle. So therefore, we now know that triangle, and we're going to go B, C, A, is similar to triangle D, C, E from our angle angle postulate. Okay, now let's take a look at example two. Okay, so we have these right angles, or right triangles, and those, the markings are a little bit off here, excuse the diagram. We need to find out, are these triangles similar? So we have this angle measure here that's 37, and this angle up here, which is 53. They're not the same, but because we know the measure of the right angle, we can figure out the other angles. And this angle right here is going to be 90 minus 53, which equals 37 degrees. So because we have two angles, corresponding angles that are congruent to each other, we know that these two triangles are in fact similar. Because we have 90 degrees equals 90 degrees, and 37 equals 37. So these two triangles are in fact similar. Okay, let's move on to some more examples. All right, we are told that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, and we need to complete the following statements. So remember, if two triangles or two figures are similar to each other, they are, their sides are proportional. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. We actually don't even have to look at the figure to figure out our congruence statements here, our proportion statements. BA, by our letters here, is going to be similar to ED. They will have the same ratio as AC and DF. Again, I'm just looking at my letters here in their order. So we have AC, the first and the third, D and F, the first and the third there. And then CB, and I'm going to go ahead and write that. So we have CB have the same ratio as FE. So this is our proportionality statement. Now we do need to look at the figures for the following example. We want to know what over x will equal 5 over what. So we know x is DE. DE is similar to AB. So that means that this is 4. So we have 4 over x. Those are going to be the sides that are have a corresponding proportion to them. And looking over here, 5 is AC. Well, our similarity statement here says that AC is going to be proportional to DF, which is 15. So now that we have this set up, we can actually solve for x. So we know that this is going to reduce down to 1 third. So if that's the case, then we have 4 and then 3 times 4 equals x. So x equals 12 here. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. This is our last example for today. We need to find the coordinates of point E so that we can have triangle ABC similar to triangle ADF. And we see that they lie on the axis, so that actually makes it easy for us. So let's go ahead and label stuff. We see that A, point A is at 0, 0, point B is at 0, 3. So AB has a length of 3 units. AD is going to be similar to AB. And we can see that our point D right here lies at the point 0, 7. So AD has a length of 7 units. So our similarity ratio AB to AD is going to equal 3 over 7. Okay, so now we have AC equals 4 and AE is what we don't know. So we're going to set up our ratio. So we have 3 sevenths equals 4 over x. And now we just cross multiply and divide. So we have 4 times 7 divided by 3 equals x. So x equals 28 thirds. And because this is on the axis, that's all we needed to find. So our point E is going to be the point 28 thirds comma zero. 
and we've solved the problem using our similarity ratio, our proportionality statement. Okay, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.